News Radio, WAB 1180, welcomes you to The Seniors Rock Show. The Seniors Rock Show, a lively weekly discussion, shedding a bright light on aging with fun, entertainment, and important info for all adults. Join us with your comments or questions. Call or text 222-1180 or 1-800-295-1180. Now, from the News Radio Wham 1180 Studios in downtown Rochester, here's your host, Joanna Palvino. Well, hello and welcome to Seniors Rock Radio and our live show from Sarah's Garden and Nursery out here in Brockport. And, oh, thank you, Pam. And by nursery, I don't mean regular human babies. There are a few here, though. I mean plant babies. And guess what? Healthy and growing all right here on this beautiful property that we are broadcasting from. And um, it's uh, it's amazing what's here. It's way more than meets the eye from the road or the radio. So we're going to share it with you today. Sarah's Garden and Nursery is a family-owned and operated business that began as a small farm wagon, Mike, offering homegrown vegetables and flowers. And today, at their family-run nursery, where we are, there's nearly, I think, probably more than 20,000 square feet of greenhouse space, and they grow, again, all of the annuals, vegetable plants, and beautiful hanging baskets, and they offer them all right here in Brockport. And um, I think it's, uh, what's the street here? We're on East Avenue in Brockport. It's one of the main roads, so you can't miss it if you're coming into town. Stop by and say hello. We're going to be here till 1. And there is an amazing collection of flowers and shrubs and trees. And they're really unusual and rare, too, some of them. I mean, they have all the regulars, but some you'll never see anywhere else. And it's something to see. And the other thing you probably won't see anywhere else are some of the uh, stonescapes that they do. And uh, the owners uh, are very proud of that, and they should be, because it's beautiful. People come in all the time to take photos. And um, I guess the the local kids from the high school come in and take their uh, prom shots and things. So very community-oriented. I love that as well. Um, So there's an amazing collection of flowers, shrubs, trees, landscaping. And there's the stone structures, those stonescapes, gardens. And you can stroll or sit and relax or You can go on some hidden trails. And, Mike, there are lilies blooming on the pads back in the koi pond there. And I know it's your first time being here. And I'm talking to Mike, my uh, estate planning attorney co-host. He's with the law office of Michael Robinson. His name is Mike Robinson, coincidentally. Welcome to the show, Mike. And I'm glad you're here with me today. And thanks. It's great to be here. And yes, we keep the uh, the law firm name simple. It's easy for me to remember. And that's that's what's most important. But this really this is my first time here uh, at Sarah's and it really is quite a, a place. I mean, they've got, as you said, all the usual suspects in terms of, of you know, landscaping and garden planting and whatnot. But they just have really done a, a fabulous job. And it's it's not only enjoyable to walk around. But you get a lot of good ideas. I mean, they've really done some creative things. And um, so, yeah, this is great to be here. They do have great ideas. And I took some away the other day. I came here with my mother-in-law, Joyce, and we had a great time. It was actually sprinkling, and and we enjoyed it just as much. And today, the sun is shining, and it's super bright and beautiful. So it is a great day to come on out. They're open till 5, and we are at Sarah's. We're going to be here on the air till 1, maybe a little longer. You might find us out in the gardens, wandering around. So look for the Seniors Rock t-shirts. And uh, we're going to give away a couple of things today too. So if you're listening and you're on your way here, make sure you stop at the table and tell us something, anything. All right, Mike? Well, be nice though. That's You, you can tell us almost anything. And uh, the nicer you are, the better the the prize. So, so I was thinking, Joanna, just what would be an appropriate topic for me to talk about today? And you know, we're in graduation season. And one of the things that people don't often think about as their sons and daughters are graduating from high school in particular is, you know, they turn 18 years old and legally they are adults and you no longer have legal authority to make healthcare decisions on their behalf. You can't even get information, uh, healthcare information without a HIPAA authorization. You can't handle their bank accounts or or other assets that they might have. So one of the things I encourage people to do this time of year and do it before the kids go off uh, to college is make sure you get 
uh, a health care proxy and a good power of attorney uh, in place for your son or daughter, you know, depending on, on what assets they may or may not have, a will perhaps uh, would be appropriate for them. But it does catch a lot of people by surprise. And um, I, you know, we don't like to get those phone calls when, unfortunately, there's been an accident, someone's son or daughter uh, is unable to handle their own affairs, and mom and dad's heads are tied because they don't have authority either. Uh, so again, not difficult documents to put together. You do want to work with a professional, as we've said many times on the show. Don't try to do this on your own with with downloadable documents. Uh, but it's not, you know, cost prohibitive by any means, and it is important planning uh, for kids and, you know, for perhaps grandchildren as well. Yeah, I was just going to say that I actually got a kind of a frantic call one day from my daughter, and uh, one of the kids was going away to school, and she needed me to come to the bank and meet her because she needed a witness, and she didn't realize that these are all new things. So thank you for bringing them up, and folks, be prepared for your kids and your grandkids if they are going away, as Mike said, to get those documents in place. They're very important, and you don't want to do it last minute. There's already enough stress going on when kids are going away and going to school, right? Oh, that's you, you hit the nail on the head there. And with with anything, you don't want to do this this in a hurry uh, because you typically you are in some kind of a stressful situation, and that's why you're trying to do it in a hurry. Okay, so question. How long does it take to get these kinds of documents prepared from the law office of Michael Robinson, for example? Well, you know, it usually depends on how much we're doing, what's the complexity. But for something like this, it, it's, you know, typically about three weeks, you know, for a turnaround time, uh, maybe four if there's a holiday thrown in there. So, you know, it's it's going to take some time, especially to, you know, do it with thought and uh, and get it done correctly. Uh, but it's not uh, it's not something that's going to take a lot of your time uh, to get done. Thank you, Mike, for those reminders. As always, good good things to know. And you can never do it too early. That's one of the things I ask often. You know, how how young should you be or old should you be when you fill out these papers and think about doing it? And uh, what's your answer usually, Mike? It's never too soon. It, you know, I'd say two things. One, for the individual, when you start caring about what happens. But the second piece of that is, remember, it's not just about us. It's for our loved ones because they're the people who are going to have to deal with the situation. And so we want to make sure that we've prepared properly to reduce their level of stress um, and reduce the expense that they might encounter as well. I know your website is a lot of information. Tell the folks what that is. So that is uh, www.mrobinsonlaw.com. There's a lot of educational things on there, folks, and um, we're always learning here on the show. I hope that you'll tune in. You're listening to Seniors Rock Radio, and we are live from Sarah's Garden and Nursery in Brockport. And we're ready to hear from uh, owner Kathy Kepler next after the break. But um, while we're here, we're enjoying the flowers and the plants and the very unusual, um, you know, just displays of things. They've got huge uh, barns and uh, what are those uh, greenhouses and Anything you need to pot a plant is here, believe me. So if you're around, come on out to Brockport and enjoy this day and enjoy this beautiful place, Sarah's Garden Center. And, uh, you know, I was also thinking about the history here. And that stone it reminds me of uh, Scotland a little bit, right? Yeah. The Stonehenge stuff. I I'm, I'm, can't wait to hear from Kathy about how they started doing that because it is really different. And uh, it's one of the things I think that draws people to this place besides the absolutely healthy, beautiful. I'm looking, look at the, you can't see it folks, but the plants are super green and healthy and there's not a faded one in, in sight. I think it's absolutely beautiful. No, this is just an absolutely lovely spot uh, from which to broadcast. I wouldn't mind coming out here every week. Yeah. And just sit, there's benches out there. You can just sit out there. And I know you like to be outside because we tease Mike a lot about that. Every time he leaves the show, apparently goes out in the yard. And I think it's been verified by Kelly. <laughs> So anyway, he's not going to leave this place probably because he doesn't need to. He, he's outside already. Anyway, we're having a good time here at Sarah's Garden Center. And there's a lot of folks getting plants. And, um, you know, Memorial Day is not the only day to get plants for your garden. And come on out here and enjoy. We've got some giveaways, too, if anybody wants to come up to our table. And um, they're too busy looking at all the beautiful plants. I think that's what's happening out there. 
Are you going to get anything before you go? You know, I don't know. Uh, we do a lot of perennials, so we don't typically, unless we're going to be adding something, we typically don't uh, don't buy something new. So I would have to check in with the boss before before making that decision. Well, I think the boss would be happy with you surprising her. Hello. And um, yeah, I don't think you need to ask for that. I think bringing home one of these lovely plants would get you, you know, who knows, maybe dinner. <laughs> I hear my husband laughing in the background. <laughs> Anyway, he's acting as my roadie today, John is, and uh, he's doing a great job, and he's going to make me buy him lunch after this, so you might see us wandering around Brockport looking for a good burger. All right, sounds like a plan. So, yeah, but folks, come on out. There's there's a lot of people out here, but it's not crowded, uh, and there's all ages. There's families with young children, uh, folks of, of our age, and all, everything in between. It is true. And you know what? This place is so large. I think even if there was a lot of people, you wouldn't know it because there are plenty of places to walk, stroll, and beautiful plants to look at. Hey, don't go away. We're going to be right back with owner Kathy Kepler of Sarah's Garden Center. And you are listening to Seniors Rock Radio, and we are here doing it live. Stay right there. And you're listening to Seniors Rock Radio. And joining us now is Kathy Kepler of Sarah's Garden and Nursery, which is where we are broadcasting from. Hello, Kathy. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for hosting us uh, this Saturday. Hey, I, this is my first time here. Tell me a little bit about the history. Paul, thanks for visiting. I'm glad you got out here. Um, Sarah's has been in business for almost 50 years. We started back in 1977 as just this little farm wagon on the side of the road selling veggies because wow. uh, the family was farmers. Um, but we always liked plants too. And it just evolved over time. We went, well, we don't have to grow sweet corn. We can grow flowers too. And of course, then we wanted to plant flowers. So we have all these display gardens all stemmed from that just passion about plants. It's just grown from there. Wow. That's that's so it's been in it and has it been continuously in the family during that time? Yes. From the beginning, it was started by my brother-in-law and his wife. Um, they're a little bit older than us. And <laughs> then we kind of jumped in and took over as they wanted to phase on to do other things in their lives. Thank you for joining us, Kathy, today on Seniors Rock. So we love older people, as you know. And um, I'm wondering about the, I'm thinking old that these displays, they look like they've been there forever. When did that start and who did these? They're beautiful. These stonescapes, we're calling them. Oh, they are so amazing. So I had a good friend that was very into building dry laid stone walls. And he had some connections with um, some really great teachers from overseas that that's their whole lives, that they built stone walls. As a matter of fact, one of the gentlemen that came here to help us with that, his name is Norman Haddow. He is the Queen's Waller. He's the Waller at Balmoral Castle. Yeah, it's great. So we decided to gather these guys up and do a class. And so when you come out and visit, when you see the stone walls, each set of walls is a weekend spent with the master Waller teaching 10 students how to craft dry laid stone. Wow. It's impressive. I yeah. mean, it really is amazing. Yeah, I'm saying wow over here. I thought that the family builds all those, but now it makes a lot more sense because it's like, how did they figure that out? Right. No, wait. Yeah. What about the round? There's like a round and it's uh, all stones. How do they stay up? The is there a secret? Gate. Yeah, everyone asks. The there there must be mortar. There must be rods in there, but it isn't. That's it's true. just held together with gravity. They call right. you know the keystone gets put right. in like you right. hear in Roman architecture. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's really magical. Yeah. As is. Norman would say, it's a wee bit of magic. <laughs> oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's was great. In Scotland, you know. So oh, you were? Yeah, it's oh. Glasgow. So that that's really hitting home. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna go back. I love the the name of that. What is it? The moon. Moon gate. The moon gate. 
I kind of ran through it because it made me a little nervous because it is gigantic, folks. I mean, you can walk through this thing and you can get a picture there. I got a picture of my mother-in-law, but um, I can't put that online, though. So we will have other pictures for you from Sarah's. And we're here at Sarah's Garden Center in Brockport, if you just tuned in and you're listening to Seniors Rock Radio. And here with us is Kathy Kepler. She's the owner and her husband, Steve, is here somewhere on the property. He's hiding somewhere in a fern, I think. But uh, we're going to find you afterwards, Steve. So um, tell us more about this. How does this affect your family? Do you have children and, and how does this work? I thought it was maybe you just did it, you know, when it was nice weather, but you explained it's 12 months a year. Yeah, it is. It is long season. You know, the, all these plants have to start growing well before the planting season starts. So that's there's a lot behind the scenes that happens. Um, it's been interesting. You know, it's a, an adjustment. It's not a life for every family, um, but our kids did fine with it. They supported yeah. us. They've worked here during high school years, but then they've moved on to their, you know, it's a lot easier now that all my kids are grown up. It's much easier. Yeah. Do you have grandkids? We do. We have three grandchildren um, and they all seem pretty interested in the plant gig. So I'm right. hoping, you know, the next generation to come might, might join in. Cool. Cool. I, you know, I was going to ask you, we were talking earlier, there's a, a lot of the usual suspects in terms of what you find at a garden center, but you've got some, some, I don't know if rare is the right word, but some unusual offerings here as well. You know, we kind of have that passion for the unusual because you're right. There's a, there's a tried and trues that everybody knows, but it's almost human nature to want the next best thing. You know, you can, almost can't help yourself. And when it's a plant, you, you can't resist. So we always are sourcing and trying to grow and provide things that they're not going to find at, at every garden store you know that's part of our that's part of our signature gotcha gotcha so so you were saying you go uh, you guys are open right through the end uh, well what three days after christmas and then it's just a very short break before you're you're in the greenhouses exactly things fire up out there in february and then you know it just builds from there um it takes a while to nurse all those little babies. There's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's an understatement, folks. A bunch. How many square feet are out here? Um, I think it's a little over 20,000 in yeah. greenhouse space right now. Yeah. It's not enough. It's never enough. Right, That's right. just the greenhouses, folks. That is not the rest of the, the stuff outside of the greenhouses, right? Yeah, the outside area. Well, the whole property is about, um, I would say, planted and used for retail. We're probably at about six acres. Mm -hmm. Right and now. I do know a lot of folks like to come out and take pictures here. And I know that you have to have some kind of limits on that. So um, tell folks, I know you have the kids out here for the high school, but I know brides, they need to talk to you first, right? You can't just show up. Yeah, it's better if you don't just show because you might, you know, there's lots of things going on. And we hold private events out in the garden as well. So you don't want to come and be disappointed. Right. So we ask if you're doing like photo sessions to come out. Uh, to call first and come out and make an appointment. There's no fee. It's free. Um, but just to make sure that you have the space to do what you want to do out there in the gardens. And I think you're offering Seniors Rock folks a, a special discount today. Tell her, tell them what you're doing. Oh, so it, typically our our senior day is Tuesdays, 10% off plants. But in honor of this, and we love senior day, it's so much fun here. Um, we're doing it today too. So all seniors get the 10% discount on their plant purchase today. Awesome. Hey, we're here uh, again with Kathy Kepler at Sarah's Garden and Nursery in Brockport. Kathy, thanks for joining us. And folks, stay with us after the break. We'll have more from Sarah's Garden Center and Seniors Rock Radio. Welcome back. You're listening to Seniors Rock Radio. I'm Joanna Pelvino, your host, and we are broadcasting live today from Sarah's Garden Center in Rockport, New York. We invite you to come out and enjoy this incredible display of nature, and I mean incredible. And, um, you know, if you don't have a yard or a place to plant, you can still come out and enjoy some social engagement. And uh, that's what we're all about here on Seniors Rock, being healthy, being social, and you can meet a lot of friendly folks here, right, Mike? Indeed, yeah. And of course, we're always reminding friends that aging and isolating don't mix. 
Uh, in fact, Joanna, a recent study shows that loneliness and isolating can negatively affect both our physical and mental states. And the stats are strong and disturbing. Isolating and loneliness can actually increase the likelihood of premature death by 60%. And that's as much as smoking every day. Yeah. Not good. That is a scary fact. And uh, I did I did read the same information and it is true, folks. So pay attention, will you? And if you're worried about your pets, I know I've been feeling that lately. Uh, our little Shih Tzu has been not feeling so good. And um, I hate le leaving her, but they do have something that um, if, you, if you're feeling uneasy and you're going to work or going out or running errands and you feel bad about leaving your pet, iHeartRadio now has, are you ready, a station dedicated to keeping your four-legged friend calm and relaxed until you get home. I know we used to just leave, a, you know, a CD on or whatever sometimes, but Pet Radio is a station. It's got the soothing songs. It's got gentle tracks and instrumental music. I was doing the classical piano earlier, and it'll help um, your pet your pet stay comfortable they're saying for up to nine hours now i don't usually leave my pet that long but some people might but uh several studies are finding that um these simple serene sounds like classical music or solo music um can really take uh your dog to a chill place and ex they can experience less stress another study has found that soft rock and they, did, they didn't say grateful dead mike soft rock and rag a for kennel dogs led to more relaxed behaviors and increased or sorry, decreased heart rate. <laughs> and uh, so you can get pet radio. Anybody can get it. It's free. It's on the iHeart radio app and you can ask Alexa to play pet radio on iHeart radio if you want. And um, it's also available on your smart TV. I didn't know that. And of course you can always add WHM 1180 and our show, the seniors rock radio show to your favorites list. Please do and bring us along anywhere you're going. And again, all free. So what are you up to this weekend? Well, I think I'm going to have to check out pet radio or at least get the reggae channel. And he doesn't even have a pet folks. He just loves music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, busted. So, but no, I didn't know about uh, pet radio. It's not like pet sounds. You remember the beach boys album, pet sounds. Yeah, the beach boys was the first band that group that I ever saw. You know, I saw the beach boys when they used to wear the striped shirts, like, oh, and they sure. were yeah, yeah. actually going to the beach. And guess who opened for them? It was at the Auditorium Theater. I'm going to let you guess who opened for the Beach Boys. This is, so the odd here in Rochester? Yep. Oh, gosh. Yep, right on Main Street. Um, uh, the Monkees. They came, they came later. Incorrect. Incorrect. No, I don't know. You got me. Sonny and Cher. They were married. They still, yep, they had the fur vests on. And uh, my brother and I uh, got dropped up, off at the Auditorium by my dad. And we basically didn't hear anything because it, the entire show was girls screaming. That was, well, I don't know what was happening back then, like when the Beatles came around and everyone was screaming all the time. Well, yeah, I guess that was the thing. And that's, you know, it's funny. I still go to, to concerts, as you know, and, and people talking during the concerts is a big thing. Um, and it's, it's a little bit controversial. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even the artists will start uh, admonishing the the crowd to be quiet. So it's always annoying when you're, you know, you go there somewhere to, you know, to listen to the music, see a band or or any artist, and there's somebody yakking, having a conversation behind you about something that has nothing to do with the show. Yeah. So at least, you know, take it to the back. Yes, agreed. It's like it would the old days when we used to go to the movie theater and people would be doing the same thing or using their phones. It's so annoying. You didn't come to see their phone chat thing. And uh, good points, Mike, as always. And we're here at Sarah's Garden Center, folks. We're going to be here till one, which is not very far from now, but we will be wandering around the gardens here in the uh, stone scapes in the back, which are really amazing now that we know the story. And thank you to Kathy Kepler and the gang here for preparing this beautiful place and for keeping it on. Uh, so everything's so healthy and it's, it, it's just beautiful. And the, it, it's, uh, it's, it, you just feel relaxed, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And um, we're lucky to be here today on such a gorgeous day. And um, we're going to be here after the break too. And we've got some information as we always do about things coming up and hi, there's some kids coming over here. Hi guys. How are you? And uh, are you going to get some flowers today? Yeah. Who's going to get them? Are you, do you have money with you? No, daddy and mommy. Oh, good deal. Keep it up. <laughs> 
Anyway, we're having fun here at Sarah's Garden Center, and we hope you'll stop down. She'll be here till 5, and they'll be here all week and weeks after, until after the Christmas holiday. So you have no excuse. Come down and check this place out. It's absolutely beautiful. There's very handsome people around here with sun hats on, and I'm getting all these lovely flowers. So you won't be disappointed. Tell your friends. Grab a friend. Come on down. Keep listening and stay with us, okay, because we're going to be here through the break. And we're going to be here right in the garden waiting for you on Seniors Rock Radio and Wham 1180. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. And you know what? We're here at Sarah's Garden Center. We've been talking about these flowers and all the beautiful things. But I know that you're out there, folks, and you're on, and we're on the radio, so you can't really smell the flowers. But believe me, it is so fragrant here at Sarah's and so beautiful. The sun is shining. Everybody is smiling. It doesn't get much better than this, as far as I'm concerned. And I was just telling Peter Gordon of Indoor Air Professionals that we're doing this live broadcast today. And he offered up a jar of Canberra gel to give away. So thank you, Peter. And if you don't know what Canberra gel is, it's an all-natural air purifier that doesn't mask the odors. It removes them with pure tree tea oil. And we're all about, or tea tree oil. Did I say that right? We're all about, um, you know, the natural things and being healthy here. So um, we use it at our house, John and I, and we found out about it when we got our indoor air gifted to us, a jar of it when we had our air ducts cleaned. And Canberra was a nice compliment, let me tell you, to the new clean, healthy air that we got after the duct cleaning. So we're, we're carrying on the tradition of uh, clean air as long as we can. And if we need to get it done again, we will. So thanks, Peter, for the jar we're giving away here at Sarah's. And, you know, we all love being outdoors. And But let's face it, we spend most of our daily lives indoors. So we try to do our best to drink good water and exercise, eat right, socialize. But what about the air you're breathing? Just one duct cleaning will change your life with healthy benefits like less allergens and less dusting. But, you know, I say less dusting all the time, but, time, but seriously, Mike, strong health benefits from this. Everybody's duct work is what I call out of sight, out of mind, kind of a 60s thing. No. Have you ever moved your refrigerator and been completely shocked? Mike is nodding his head. Because you get a buildup of dust and hair and all kinds of grossness that's collected underneath it, right? So your air ducts are usually worse than that. That's frightening, but it's enough said. You can t- you can just imagine that. Um, but indoor air pros in Rochester is the best, and that's why we chose them and why we recommend them. Peter likes that very much, and so he's offering Seniors Rock Radio listeners $175 off your first air duct cleaning. That's $175 off. That's a lot of money, and it's worth celebrating. Yeah, we're celebrating for sure. So, um, and we're at Sarah's Garden Center, as I said earlier. Stop by, smell the fresh air here, and don't ignore the air you're breathing. Call Peter Gordon now and tell him you want to know more about clean air in your house or your business and all the other services they offer to help you do that. He loves to talk about it. So call Peter, talk to a real person, that's him, and tell him you'd like the Seniors Rock discount. Listeners, it's great. Uh, it's great to do. You'll get a lot of info, and the number is ready, 585 585- 427 8020 and that's extension 303 again 427 8020 extension 303 for peter gordon and mike here we are last segment again what are you thinking about well just thinking about not only how beautiful is it here but you know there's just a lot going on uh, around town this weekend uh, uh, john reminded me the red wings are in town it's the the Fairport Music Festival. Uh, we heard the ad for the the Greek Festival, and I, you know, flaming cheese. I love it. I, as as a guy with a beard, I'm skeptical. Yeah, there's lemon. They give you fresh lemon to put on the flaming cheese. It is phenomenal. The Greek wine. Watch the dancers. I say get out to the Greek Fest this weekend. It's always wonderful. All right, you you got me. Maybe I'll have to try. Can I at least blow out the flame before I eat it? Is okay. Is that allowed? Yeah. Yeah, very good. But yeah, folks, if you're, you know, if you're not working in the yard, maybe you don't have a yard to work in or you want to take a break. Again, lots of stuff to do around town. And again, this place here, Sarah's Garden Center and Nursery uh, in Brockport. What what a show. What a show they've got here. And I can't can't encourage people enough to come out and stroll around and, and pick up pick up some things for the yard. And they have 
they have these like, ah, oops, I almost dropped the mic there. Sorry. They have uh, these wheeled baskets and all kinds of things that you can take all the way out into the garden area and walk around. And, um, you know, it's easy to get the things on your, your cart is what I'm trying to say. And um, lots of people to help you. It is just a great experience all the way around. And I think we've had a great experience here. And I want to thank Kathy Kepler again and her husband, Steve, and all the folks here at Sarah's for having us here today. Uh, what else is going on, Mike? I know you're going to be in the yard somewhere. What's happening afterwards? You know, I'm just going to do whatever I can to enjoy this beautiful afternoon. So I've got a lot of options. I haven't made all my decisions yet. Uh, but I'll be doing I'll be doing something fun. And folks, I hope you're all going to be able to get out and do something fun. Be safe, be well, and be kind. Excellent. Please come back next week. We won't be at Sarah's, but we will be on WHAM 1180 from 12 to 1. We are every Saturday. And next week, Mike Mateo from the Village at Unity will be my co-host because Mike's off. He's taking a day off and he'll probably be outside somewhere. But we're going to have guests from Agape Physical Therapy. They always have great information. And Lauren Getz from Everyday Hands. She helps you with everyday needs. And you know what? It's been a blast today. Fun time. And as always, I want to thank the sponsors that make the show possible. We, we see them at, you can see them at SeniorsRockRadio.com. And well, Mike, another day to remember and another day to get out Outside, connect with nature, people, and your pets. Friends, reach out with happiness about aging and spread the word about this show and the name to remember. What is it, Mike? Seniors Rock.